For the last few days I've been experimenting with this Vermeon 1.51 inch OLED transparent display as you can see right here showing temperature and humidity information. So I find this pretty interesting display as far as displays go. You can see it's um, transparent. I've, I've left the protective film because I've been um, playing around with it, didn't want to scratch it. But as you can see it's pretty interesting the way that it works in terms of like wide angle of view even at this angle you can still see its content you flip it over and now things are reverse you can see through it just start placing the display on in the front of the uh, fire beetle board you can see what's happening behind i find this a quite interesting effect and um, of course you can display text and graphics and even animation the library that i'm using here from df robot uh, contains demonstration of uh, all of the capabilities of this display i'm going to show you in the code in a minute so in this setup uh, nothing fancy i've got the display itself i'm using the fire beetle esp32e from df robot uh, i also have a EME 280 temperature and humidity sensor or environmental sensor connected to the board via I squared C and the display itself I'm just going to flip it over comes with this adapter which allows me to connect the display to the board via GDI I think GDI stands for graphics um, display interface or something like that I'm not quite sure all right so there's the display itself just trying to focus again going a little okay a little better now at the same time i've also been experimenting with this board also from df robot which is a tiny board this is called the beetle esp32 c3 and um, I have attached those long headers on either side so that I can connect this prototyping board to it like this. Just making sure I've got the correct sides connected. So GND, yep, it goes on like this. So it's really small form factor, very interesting. It also has the GDI connector. You can see it here so I can connect this display to the uh, beetle board they have already done it and it works quite well as well uh, this is another way by which you can attach the headers and this is breadboard friendly you can attach it onto a breadboard and experiment but more about this in a later video so i wanted to show you the software side of driving this display getting data from the sensor and um, uh, oh, before I get to that, before I get to the code, this is the display that I'm talking about. This is the, the display that I'm, I'm using in these experiments. Lots of information here, how to connect it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can connect it directly with uh, jumper wires onto the board, or you can just use a flexible uh, connector into the uh, GDI port. Uh, this is uh, the Fire Beetle, the ESP32E board that I'm also using and I mentioned the Beetle ESP32 C3 boards one of the newer boards from DF robot that I'm experimenting more about that in a later video I've got a couple of uh, test scripts the one that is running on the board right now is this one here it puts together the BME 280 sensor with the display I'm using the uh, U8G2 library. Uh, it's a very popular library for OLED monochrome screens. And DF Robot has given us examples that work with this code. Let's see if I can find them down here. I've got the graphics test demonstration right here, which is this sketch here. I'm going to run it in a moment just to show you what the graphics capabilities of this display uh, including a little bit of animation 
So in terms of the software, back to this, you can see here that uh, I've got a few libraries, uh, the display library, and I'm using the Adafruit BME280 library for the sensor. These are some definitions for the display, D2, D6, and D3. These are the pins for the GDI. So these, these ports for the DC, CS, and, RC, and RST for the SPI interface of the display are going through the GDI port. And everything after that is just pretty straightforward. Uh, there's nothing fancy inside. In line 16, I'll start the uh, in lines in line 16. I'll create the display object inside setup. I start the object calling the begin function and uh, set the orientation so that the text appears like this. Where this top point here is top left is where the coordinates begin for the display. You can flip it in other positions as well and start the sensor. If it all is successful, then we'll go into the loop where we take measurements from the sensor and print them out onto the display. So pretty straightforward, all good, no problems here. Another thing that you've noticed here before I move on to the demonstration is that I'm using Arduino IDE version two. This is a release candidate and I've been experimenting with this because I'm using uh, Mac OS Monterey, which is a 64 only bit operating system. Uh, I found that uh, Arduino IDE version one or the latest of the version one series uh, is not working very well, especially when it comes to uh, interacting with Python and uh, using the Python interpreter. Um, and I found that version two, which is upcoming, you can get it here, just go to arduino.cc software, uh, scroll down and you'll find the future version of the Arduino IDE, which is Arduino IDE 2.0. It's a release candidate at the moment. I've been using it for, as I said, a few days and I haven't noticed any issues that would prevent me from using this as my main uh, go-to Arduino IDE. It works well. So it's got some nice features, such as uh, a left bar here, which you can reveal and access your sketches and all your sketches stored in, in the Arduino folder. And other. And there's also connection with your Arduino cloud. I haven't signed in, but you can access your sketches that you have stored on the Arduino cloud. So you can see that the Arduino IDE 2.0 and onwards will be integrating the cloud services with local Arduino IDE features. Then you've got your board manager, also available from the left bar. You've got your library manager, debugging for the boards that debugging is available. And you can also search inside your screen, uh, your project. So imagine that if you've got multiple pages open, you can actually look for things in all of your project files like this highlights it. Another thing that um, I really like here is that you can actually drill into functions and uh, classes. So you can just right click on a function, for example, or a keyword that you're interested, just right click, go to the definition, you can straight go or jump directly to the location that you want to examine. So you don't have to look in code manually anymore and uh, uh, take the long way. You can just jump from one place to the other really quickly. You can also hover your mouse over and you can get information about the particular function. So I'm going to do a more thorough review of the Arduino IDE version two uh, a little bit later uh, once I get uh, better understanding of how it works and differences and similarities with Arduino IDE version one. Now, the last thing that I want to show you now before I close is to upload the graphics test to my Fire Beetle and see some interesting graphics and animation appearing on the display. So first, I'm going to select the appropriate board so I've got the Fire Beetle ESP32E, and this is the port here. And OK, and upload it 
to the device. The process of uploading and verifying sketches is similar between the Arduino IDE 2.0 and previous versions, the one series. All right, so there's a graphics demonstration, just zoom in. I find this effect really nice. Can create some interesting projects with this transparent display. Because imagine how much cooler it would be if this display was much bigger. Like imagine the size of uh, I don't know, a window, for example. So you'd be able to use windows as displays as well and still be able to look through them maybe uh, in the future or we'll have access to technology like that i also recorded some footage of the beetle esp 32 3c uh, with the display wanted to show you as you can see here it works really well and here's some footage showing my environment sensor connected to the prototyping board attached to a beetle as well and showing its data sensor data on the transparent display <laughs>